My name is Duncan Moss and I'm a lay minister here in Verwood and this is my thought for this coming week. It is commonly believed that we have to do lots of good things in life in order to get rewarded by God. Indeed enough good things to outweigh the bad things, almost like a giant balance on which on the one side are heaped all the good things we have done and on the other all the bad stuff we have done. And if the good side outweighs the bad side, that is great. Like some sort of giant judgment taking into account of everything we have done. Well, I can confirm with certainty that whilst there may be some religions around the world who hold to that type of teaching, Christianity does not. Christianity is not get points and if we acquire enough of them we get a prize. It doesn't work that way. The Bible tells us something totally different. To get that prize, to get that approval from God, all we have to do is to accept that God is offering us a free gift and taking it. We have to do that by trusting in God and that requires some faith. Faith is believing in something or accepting something that we cannot prove or fully see. The Bible tells us time and time again that we are put right because of God's love for us and our faith. Abraham who is considered to be an ancestor father of many of the world's religions, was considered to be righteous in God's eyes, not because of what he did in life, but because he simply believed God's promises to him. That might sound counterintuitive, but it is very true. There is no ambiguity there. It is by God's grace that we are saved through faith and not by works so no one can boast. We cannot earn God's approval by works. Whilst doing good things is a very important part of life as Jesus taught, the first step in the Christian journey is faith. Once that step has been made, then the natural response to that is the what we do. Good works comes out of faith in God, not the other way round. There is a good analogy as follows. If I were to go out and murder someone, I would receive the mandatory sentence of life in prison by the judge. Whether I had, up until then, done a lot of good things in life or a lot of bad things, Whilst there may be some slight mitigation, the sentence would be the same, life in prison. It is just the same way, like one really bad action can affect the rest of my life in a bad way, one really good action can affect the rest of my life in a good way as well. And in God's eyes, that really good action is to trust him and accept that gift he is offering us. That is really very good news indeed because it allows anybody and everybody, whatever age, whatever background, whatever blots on the landscape we have, the opportunity to choose whether to show faith and believe God's promises and accept his free gift or not. There is no barrier that prevents a person who wants faith in their lives. So don't believe any incorrect thinking that suggests that what has happened in the past can stop a person have a great relationship with God. Thank you for listening.